ดีครับลีนาคาลิเฟ่ ladies and gentlemen and I'm Tin Cho k o m o n k i t for those of you who might have problem pronouncing Thai last name Tin as in Tin Tin the cartoon character c h o k o m o n k i t as in choke a monkey so you can Remember my name from now. Uh, I'm very honored uh, this this morning to be on stage with a great mind like Lena. But before we begin our session, with our chairs coming back on stage, first of all, yeah, yeah uh, Lena, you want to show us some move because because you're the founder of She Fight. Yeah. Okay. You're known globally now. Okay. So maybe we want to teach some move for our audience here, so yeah. so, so they can have a self defense. Of course. Uh, so I want you all to stand up first. Yes, Why don't please. you stand up? You've been sitting for a while here. Yeah. Are you bored or okay? Yes. What I'm gonna teach you is really important. Mm -hmm. But I need some music. Can we have the dragonfly music? Oh yeah. เดี๋ยวขอเพลงหน่อยได้ไหมฮะขอเพลงหน่อยเดี๋ยวประกอบการ Okay. You can put your phones down so you have more flexible arms and hands. Okay. Just to warm everybody up. Okay. Is 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 this is this a, a life? Savior? It's a life savior. You have to learn it. Pay really good attention of what I'm gonna teach you. Okay. Okay. Observe yeah. really well. I'm not gonna repeat it. Okay. Where's the music? Okay, music. ขอเพลงนะฮะดนตรี sound เมื่อกี้นี้ก็ได้ sound เปิดตัว Okay, okay, that's it. Come on, everybody, move, everybody. Is that the light? All right, thank you, thank you. Thank that you. was just to warm everybody up. That's not even a self-defense move. I was <laughs> just kidding. She will show you the real move uh, towards on. the end of, of our session. Okay. Thank you very much for for for. I was teaching us ten backstage. He actually did really yeah, good. Yeah, it was like good job. That and then that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, joking aside, I'm very honored uh, this morning and very privileged to be sitting across a great mind uh, like Lena. And uh, by the end of the session, hopefully. Everybody will get to know you a little bit better, maybe. Okay, and <laughs> the way you think, and <laughs> how great you. minds think, and most importantly, how you have taken uh, something that is your passion, created something great locally, and then bring it globally. Yeah. Okay. For for those of you who might not know uh, what She Fight is, uh, can you just briefly yeah. explain to us what She Fight is and so, how you, you began? Yeah. Thank you so much, Tin. I'm really honored to be here. I'm actually very happy to be in Thailand, not in Canada, in November because it's freezing <laughs> cold in in Canada. So I'm like so happy. I have to wear my shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> um, She Fight. I started She Fighter in 2012, and I wanted to uh, help women and empower them how to stand up against violence. We don't have to wait until violence happens and then report it or go through all these procedures. You can defend yourself if you learn simple techniques, like the one I did. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. Yeah. So, uh, she, yeah, She Fighter is a self-defense program for women, self-defense uh, system, and we started in Jordan in 2012. I took it from local to global, franchising my system and partnering up with different entities around the globe. Right. How many uh, trainers do you have now across the globe? So we've certified about 500 trainers globally. We have trainers in the Middle East. We have trainers in Germany, in Holland, in South Korea. I'm heading to South Korea after the summit. For a second phase of training trainers, mm -hmm. and um, I was in a martial arts summit before I even come here, and I, we were discussing the importance of women and girls in joining martial arts, because there's not much demand for women and girls joining martial arts because it's very dominant by men. Right. So they were taking my opinions and ideas on how to attract more women to the sport. How was it like for you to start She Fight in Jordan? You know, I've never been to Jordan, but you know, yeah. from our preconception of of how a, a country like Jordan is, yeah. uh, we so much have fun. a precon <laughs> preconception of women being suppressed. Oh yeah. Uh, how was it like for you? Can you just give us a, an overview of your experience and? Yeah. So if you want to make a social change, you have to be a fighter by nature because nobody's gonna support you or clap for you because you're changing the cultural norms. And in order to change that, you need to stand strong. At the beginning, by yourself, then creating a support system. It wasn't an easy journey, and it was like building any kind of business or any kind of new idea, introducing it not just to the culture, to the world. It's gonna be a tough, committed job to do. If you cannot wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm bored, I'm sick of it. You know, I was asked to go to the uh, 
to like uh, the government many times and they give me headaches. You need to be a fighter. It doesn't matter what your gender is because um, I found this a lot in, in women sometimes trying to put a lot of uh, you know, explanation why they face a lot of challenges. You're going to face probably more challenges than men, but it's your path anyway. You're going to face challenges. You're going to grow out of these challenges and beyond these challenges, and you're going to keep going until you reach your goal. But you have to be persistent. You have to be committed. You have to focus, and you have to know who you are first. But you got support from your families, right? Your family, relatives, friends on, on what you want to do. Of course, my family were, of course not. <laughs> my, On a well, serious note, no. Yeah, no, no. They did not, at the beginning, uh, there were no support because family always looks for protection. They want to protect their kids. And sometimes if you're doing something that might be dangerous, they would probably say, oh, just do something better, you know, other than this. Or my father is a businessman and... I look like him. That's why I don't get along with my mother. But, <laughs> um, and he never admits that I look like him. He's like, you're like your mother. I'm like, look at me. I'm, no, I'm nothing like my mother. <laughs> he's still denying it until now. And he, he's, a, he's a businessman, and he started his business from scratch, and he owns a factory in the Middle East. For him, a service like She Fighter program is not a real business. He told me, you need a product. You don't need a service in order to sell it. But he comes from a traditional business background where he doesn't understand that you can package your service and brand it and sell it and partner with different organizations. But now he understands that after so many years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's, uh, he supports me now on a, um, I would say, like, sub like just support level. Like, uh, I'm proud of you. You're doing really well. But how was it like? W were you, were you, did, you f did you feel alone? Did you feel alone throughout uh, all the, these years that you started uh, Shifa? Uh, yes, I felt alone many, many times. Um, and um, even if you have your friends or people around you, they're not on the same mission as you are. They're not on the same path as you, as you go. And you have to understand this. If you are aiming to reach more than the stars and the universe, a lot of people would not want to join. And it is OK. A lot of people will stop continuing your journey, because for them, it's frightening. It doesn't represent who they are. So there's a lot of consequences in your dreams. Do you want to go with this dream? You have to understand a lot of people will stop going with you. Even, like, even whether it's a husband, right. whether it's a friend, whether it's a mother, a father. And usually we get hurt by people who are close to us because we expect them to stand by us and believe in us. But you have to understand that you are in this journey by yourself. You're going to have your support coming somewhere in the globe, not just your country. Mm -hmm. But you have to be with your own people that have the same and share the same values. Where did you get your emotional support, at least, if you didn't have it from um, families or friends? Yeah, I eat ice cream a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's I always a good thing. <laughs> Who likes ice cream here? Oh, yeah, I All love right. ice cream. No, um, of course, I'm not a robot. I have emotions mm -hmm. um, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I cried yesterday because I dropped the ice cream on my expensive <laughs> shirt. <laughs> and I started crying, like, no! And I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Armani. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, did, did, yeah. did you cry at least once throughout the six um, years of building I, something that you felt that you were alone? Everybody's putting you down. I, I'm pretty sure yeah, that, yeah. that was a situation, yeah. correct? Yeah, Tin, like he from yesterday, is trying to get me to cry somehow. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, like, I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to pick your brain. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Of course, um, of course uh, I, I cried many times, not just one time. I remember this year it was maybe April. April, <laughs> I remember April. April, that was yeah. about five, You actually, when ago. you get stronger and you get a lot of people giving you a lot of punches, not real punches, but like really like rejecting you all the time, punching you in the face, getting rejected constantly since I was a kid from the way I look, from the way I talk, from the way I'm fighting against violence against women. I've been rejected all my life. So when I reached my age, I'm already, I already know how to deal with rejection. So I, sometimes I get back to my emotions where, and, and I think I told you, there's a different a difference between emotions and feelings. If you know emotions triggers something from the past, so if you feel something inside, nobody's seeing it, 
your mind doesn't understand time. So your mind think that you are suffering from this emotion right now, and it's happening to you again and again and again. Maybe it happened with you 10 years ago. You got back to the certain emotion inside of your brain, inside of yourself, which trigger a certain amount of, of um, level of uh, feeling depressed and alone, and nobody can see that from the outside. While feeling co comes from outside, like I don't feel well today sitting with this friend, I don't feel going. So emotion definitely, sometimes I think about why did I start, why people do not stand by my, my side, and I, I start feeling a bit weaker, but once I release this, because my brain doesn't understand when it's happening. And you have to understand something about the power of your mind. I know I'm talking a lot of scientific, heavy topics right now, but it's yeah. important if you want to be on a journey to self-discovery or be on a journey of building or being an activist or any social enterprise, you have to understand the mind. And the future is the mind. So if you are trapped in your head with all these thoughts, getting you, uh, stopping you, blocking you from moving ahead, you're living in the past. You're not even living a life. That's why we have lots of diseases like cancer, Alzheimer, because you are doing that constantly, every single day to yourself, internally, and nobody can see that. What I did is I knew this about my brain. So once my brain wants to take me all the way back to these sad moments where I was rejected as a kid, or I was being abused or hit or punched in the face, or whatever it is, I would, I would block it completely. Change my place, move, do a sport, keep going, but not let my mind go places. And it's a practice. Um, as soon as, as you start knowing this and you practice and you watch your dark thoughts, you have more control over the dark thoughts that they will never come to your mind ever again. After four or five years, you will have more positive thoughts and you will be amazed by a lot of people who still live in the past and you are aiming to go forward. So it's all up to you in this life. Whether you want to live in the past, you can still do it. Whether you want to go ahead and live in the present moment, you can still do it. It's all up to you. Uh, yeah, I know it's a... It's very scientific, but... Yeah. It is important for it is. work and business. Let's, let's come back to, to, to Sea Fighter. Yeah. Okay. When you started Sea Fighter, did you know that one day you're going to take it globally? Yeah, I knew from the first day I started the movement. I knew it's going to go global. Uh, I started at the basement of my parents' house. I started because one of my friends was abused in college. And I said, you know what? These women keep thinking that they're weak, but they're not. And I'm going to show them how to stand up and toughen up and be a strong woman who's a leader. So I started, I said, I don't have any money. Right. You know, you cannot directly seek investment or with an idea. So I started at the basement and I had two clients, only two girls that come from college and train. But I believed it will go somewhere. A lot of people would say, this is gonna fail. Women will never be interested in what you do. From the basement of your parents' house? Yeah, my father kicked me out after a while. He's like, leave the basement. <laughs> I, I, well, it's good sometimes you get all these pushes uh, because I found a studio, small, small studio, a studio, 100 meters square, where one of my clients told me there is a judo place that is leaving. You need to go just take a look at it. I told her I have no money. How can I go take a look at it? I cannot even have any money to... And she said, just go. I went there, mm -hmm. fell in love with the place, mm -hmm. and I had a deal with the owner of the space that I'm going to pay him in uh, like installments, every, every yeah. Yeah, installments. Every. And it worked, and it went from 100 meters square to now 35 countries globally. Wow. Uh, empowering <laughs> and empowering more than 18,000 women. Wow. Yeah. But you, you had to go through a lot. I mean, you were telling me stories about people raiding your place, giving you trouble, giving you hard times. Oh, yeah. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? Uh, as I said, you have to be born and you have to be a fighter in order to sustain competition with uh, a country that is very male-dominated. So you have to know your competitors are not women. Your competitors are men. So they want to kick you out sometimes because why all these women are going to your place 
you change their mindset, they love it, they love the environment, they feel home, and they never go to men's places or they never seek the help of men. So they tried to shut me down many times. They even tried last year. Um, they bribed the government. You know, there's a lot of corruption. They have friends. But I, I never cared, honestly, because they were taking a look at what I'm doing. I was focusing on my own path. I did not care about my competitors because they're weak. They keep looking at me while I'm looking ahead. Like, imagine, I, I think about it as driving a car. Right. Imagine if you're all the time looking at the people next to you while driving, what their car looks like, who's in the car all the time. What are you gonna, what's going to happen? You're going to have an accident. And what about looking to the past while driving your car? You can peek, but you're not allowed to keep looking from the mirror all the way back and drive forward. You have to keep looking straight ahead. You have to know and understand that people will come in and out of this car, in and out of your life. That's totally normal. You need to accept that, but this is your journey, and you have to keep going. It's okay to take breaks. It's exactly like driving a car. <laughs> It's okay to like, have an accident one time, two times, three times, but you need to keep going and stop focusing on other people. Just focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. Where do you see She Fighter in, in 10, 20 years? You have plans for it now? Um, I'm not good with plans, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I have one goal to reach one million trainers globally and to have She Fighter as an Olympic sports where women can, which will be recognized as uh, first martial art women and uh, self defense, that women will compete globally and it will be recognized by the Olympic standards. How do you go about that? I have a plan. <laughs> you have a plan. I, I have a different Would you like plan. to share a little bit of, of, of what you need to create to, to, to get yeah, into that? Um, first, you have to, to believe in your vision. You have to believe in where you're heading. You have to believe that this is possible. You cannot say it's impossible and you cannot see it and it will happen. So once you believe, Everything else will come to you. You don't have to go to them. Like last year, I was one of the torch barrier at the Olympics, and they, they got me to the Olympics because they believed She Fighter is helping and supporting women changing their lives. So that's one step, connecting with people on a different level where I'm heading. And I have to tell you one simple thing. We, I know we always hustle and seek others in order to to invest in us, but sometimes you do your work and don't worry about others. They will come to you. You don't have to go to them. A lot of people don't understand this formula, but I really had to, like, I did not go to anyone. I, I was even at the White House in 2015, yeah. and they told me, how come the White House contacted you? Yeah. I'm like, I did not call the White House, right? You don't just call, I'm like, hey, I want to go to the White House, meet Barack Obama. Yeah. I did not do this. Mm -hmm. I was focusing on myself, where, where I'm heading, and it will attract the right people back to my life. So I was invited to the White House in 2015. They told me, President Obama might be there. I told them, isn't it his house? He has to be there, <laughs> Doesn't right? he live here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. And they, they just said that. They did not say, President Obama will mention you in his speech. And I was very surprised that he did. I did not ask President Obama to do this. You have to understand that I did not ask a lot of people to do things for me. I'm just focusing on where I'm heading. The right people will come to your path. So you stop worrying. You don't have to worry too much to make something happen. Because if you push it, it might not be even your path. You're going to be stuck. So just allow it to flow back to you, if, if that makes any sense. Right, I'm looking at the time. We yeah. have about 45 seconds left. You want to see a self-defense technique? 45 seconds left. A real self -defense. Come on, man, 45 seconds? Can I have like two minutes more? Okay, <laughs> just, just one last question before we do the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the moves. Um, have you ever used your own sea fighter tactics on anybody yeah. in your life? Have men you ever men are always interested to know if I beat up any man before. <laughs> That's why I need They to prepare myself <laughs> in case you beat me up on stage. Beat you up well, so. I did one time. 
I'm not really happy about it, but he, well, I was in college. I, uh, I had a black belt uh, in Taekwondo, and I was very confident even in college. And I had, at that time, I, had, I failed one subject, and I was looking at my grade, like, how, come I, how, how did I fail? And I was thinking about the teacher, she made me fail. And there was a guy sitting with a bunch of girls, and he was just making fun of everyone that passes by, you know, like uh, college kids. They're so annoying. So I, I, passed, I passed by, and I was focusing, just looking, and he said something bad about the way I walk, or, or just something bad. He said it in Arabic language. He was just showing off because he had three girls sitting next to him. So my, I did not hear it. I was focused on... My friends told me, Lena, he's just... He, this, asshole, you know, <laughs> this guy, he said that about you. I'm like, really? Did he say that? And I was so angry at that time. I'm like, I went, he was sitting, I stood and I told him, hey, stand up. And he's like, he got surprised, like he did not expect me to come. I told him, do you know me? Do you know me to talk badly about me? And he felt like surprised that I came and confront him. And he wanted to show off in front of the girl, so he stood up and he pushed me with one hand. And I'm like, <laughs> big mistake, man. <laughs> big mistake. Big mistake. So it took me one kick, one kick that goes, it's called the rising kick, goes all over his head and directly smashed his, his head, breaking his glasses, fell on the ground, so shocked that I was so fast, because I don't believe that girls can really beat up men, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody was gathering, you know, like, oh, there's a fight. And they just walked away. And from that day, I never saw him. Never. <laughs> disappeared but but there's a moral to this story and I want you to end the moral of the story about beating up people yeah you were telling me yesterday after this story and you were like oh yeah you know yeah. what I remember now yeah I remember I was jet-lagged but I remember <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you something because a lot of people think about martial arts and self-defense is more violent well we teach people how to fight in order not to fight once you learn how to fight, you will never ever use it and you will never even get yourself in trouble because your body language will speak louder. You will have confidence. And when you walk in the street, people can sense your energy. If you're walking nervously, if you're walking confidently that you don't really care because you're trained, they will stay away from you. So you're not going to attract what you're afraid of. Like, because we always attract things that we're afraid of. So you're going to be confident enough that it doesn't matter anymore. So you're not afraid of getting attacked. Because I know that's the women's biggest fear, to get attacked. That's why once you go and dig in that place where you're afraid of, go get training. Join She Fighter. Become a trainer. Change your life. And, and then you will never attract any bad energy toward your life. Because you already built this you know, energy around you that will protect you forever. Lina Khalife, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. No and we will end. Oh, we'll do it? Okay, end with time. one move. Okay, She's one move. She's going to teach you one move, and, and we would like you to all join. And uh, <laughs> I, it's not the last move not anymore. The <laughs> okay. If someone is grabbing you with both hands, Right. Okay, you want to release your hands. Don't try to push your hand. Like if, if let's say, 10 is grabbing me with both yeah. hands, don't try to push because you're actually taking all their body weight and you're not getting your hands out. What you want to do is first, you, I'm going to make it, fa I'm going to demonstrate it fast and then slower, okay? Right. So, okay, I release my hand. I'm I wasn't explain. ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Explain. Come on. I'm going to explain. I can I do this. I can do this. So, all right, I'm ready. I'm holding, I'm gripping you Oh, okay, I'll do it fast again. Yeah. Okay? And after that, you want to attack back, it's up to you. You want to run away, it's up. So okay, what, so we're going to teach him yeah, slowly. slowly. How? What I did is, once he grabbed, you cannot wait for too long. Okay. Okay? Because they will go harder if they know you're going to resist. You're going to cross both your arms from the top, at, at hitting both his bones together, and going down, releasing both your hands. You try it. You can try it with your thing. partner. You want to try it? You try it. You, you can, can try, try it. it. Stand uh, up. Stand up and, and try yeah. it. Try it. You can stand up. Try it. This is an partner. awesome move. Now Ten will do it. Okay. So, so. <laughs> okay. Everybody. <laughs> <say. laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, uh, don't hit each other. Yeah. <laughs> Do it slowly, don't hit each other, okay? Don't hit each other. 
Okay, so, so, uh, uh, Lina, okay, wait. Okay. I'm the attacker. Uh, okay, uh, uh, listen, I'll explain it. Okay. Okay. Can, can you pay attention? <laughs> okay. This time. It's okay. like, how, how come it's not working? Okay. So, one, two. Yes. <coughs> okay. Good job. So, one. No, no you do it. Good. Now I do it. One. I raise my hand up yeah, and down. I push down. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. it. One more. Push down. Good job. Good job. Thank you. All right. Once again, Lina Khalife. Thank you. Thank you very much. See ya.